Roman. Come here, come here. Roman. Hurry up. The loons. The loons. They're welcoming us back. I don't hear a thing. It's a mess, isn't it? Just take a second. You're all ship shape again. And warm up. Who's that? Summer's at the door. It's me, you old poop. Well, look at you. Uh, look at me. By their sight, aren't I? Oh, Norman. It's so beautiful. Everything's just waking up. Little tiny birds, little tiny leaves. I saw a patch of little tiny flowers over by the old cellar hole. Uh, I forget what they're called. Little tiny yellow things. Well, want to help me with the dust covers? I don't have anything else to do. Come on. What were you doing out in the woods? Norman, what do you think I was doing? I was getting wood. Hey, I met the nicest couple. Huh? Where? In the woods. A couple of people? No, a couple of antelope. Of course, a couple of people. The name is Migliore, I believe. Migliore? What sort of name is that? I don't know, darling. Italian, I suppose. They're up from Boston. They speak English? Well, of course they speak English. They're a nice middle-aged couple, just like us. If they're just like us, they're not middle-aged. <laughs> Of course they are. Middle age means the middle, Ethel, middle of life. People don't live to be 150. Well, we're at the far edge of middle age, that's all. We're not, you know. We're not middle aged. You're old and I'm ancient. Oh, poo. You're in your 70s and I'm in my 60s. Just barely on both counts. Would you like to spend the rest of the afternoon quibbling about this? We can if you like. <laughs> For the Lord's sake. The Migliores, whatever their age group, have invited us to have dinner sometime. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure my stomach's ready for rigatoni, that sort of thing. Oh, no! Poor Elmer! He's had a terrible fall. Poor little Elmer, the life you've led. He was my first true love, you know. No, not along. I wasn't the first in line. <laughs> no, you were a rather cheap substitute for Elmer. And now he's had a fall. Poor they want to kill daughter. himself. They want to... Be cremated. Probably got cancer or termites or something. Shut up, Norman. Not a bad way to go, huh? Quick front flip off the mantle. Bit of a kick at the last minute. End up putting the fire nothing to it. Norman, will you shut up? Now, my numbers up. Do that for me, will you? Prop me up on the mantle and point out which way it's down. Might even try for a full gainer with a half twist. Norman Thayer Jr., your fascination with dying is beginning to frazzle my good humor. Mm, not fascination, just... Cross my mind now and then. Every five minutes, don't you have anything else to think about? Nothing quite as interesting. Well, what's stopping you? <laughs> Why don't you take your dive and get it over with? I leave you alone with Elmer. You must be mad. Oh, for pity's sake. Come on, help me get the canoe off the porch. 